Hi, friends. Hi, friends. It's your friends, Carolina Rashi. Everyone I feel like you. it's. Oh, thanks, guys. I appreciate that. I was off yesterday because my son went back to school. So exciting. Um, and it was so awesome because I, you know, I dropped him off. We got to take him to his class yeah. and. Um, then I picked him up and um, I got him a little gift and like we're gonna talk about this later about um, there he is oh my, oh little my boo -boo. gosh look at him I know He's I do so cute he went from going to be um, and I don't remember I forget that's him saying bye to his sister Aww. Liana this was when she it was her first day of school Liana's trajectory of what job she wants to do is funny because it went from a doctor to nurse to police officer. Man. Now they play school at home. Like this is our home oh. setup. Yeah, that's the teacher and that she's the teacher clearly. She looks so cute. Um, and so anyway, it was uh, it was great. Um, it went by so smoothly. Thank God because we kind of rehearsed it the more like the night before did you what we're gonna do i mean in terms of like everything going smoothly we're gonna yeah. work with this time i mean we're not like sticklers for stuff yeah but anyway so they did have a good time Aww. and uh they love their teachers which makes such a big difference oh yeah i bet at that age oh. because they have that separation anxiety like the teacher goes this was so great she goes when when ryan entered she goes would you like a high five a fist bump or hug every morning no way yes would ryan say hug Oh, that's he thinks so his nice. teacher's really cute too, and oh. she is cute. And so, um, you know, that's just so nice. Yeah, like, to acknowledge. And, and he went in, no problem. <sighs> no problem. Thank goodness. We didn't have that issue in kindergarten. It was he. They had to pry him off me, and that was like the worst that's, time. That of my makes whole it life. so hard. Like, yes, but like just uh, like having like a welcoming teacher, yeah. it's, it's like you don't think about it until you have your kids that are like you know, maybe anxious or something. And then the littlest things like, come on over here. We're going to, you know, it was, that's so cute. It was great. And it's so a big deal. It's a big deal to get on back to school. It is. It's huge. And it's so like, <laughs> it's so, I was telling Daniel this, cause you go to the elementary school. Everyone's like, good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Aww, Tuesday. Happy, so happy. Yeah. So happy. How was your weekend? And they want to know and all that. And it's like in real life, it's like your bosses sometimes don't even, you know, like it's like, what can you do? What can you, yep. it's just the culture, not just, I'm just saying in general. No, I mean, that's one know. of the things like when looking back and being like, I would have loved to have been an elementary school yes. teacher. I'm like, I don't know if I could say that peppy all the time. I know. They're all like, good morning. How are you? I Hello, know. friends. Yes. Like, it's like, whoa. But everybody's, I think the energy's like that. Yeah, though. No one's true. like miserable because you have to, you know, and, and it's just nice. Like, even like sometimes I'll like, like someone will say something to me and I'll be like, well, I'm doing okay. How are you doing? You know, you just forget about it because you're doing work. Yeah. Right. So um, anyway, my point is saying that is like, we can all just take a step back and just, you know, be like, how's everything going? You know, but totally. sometimes we are just in work mode all the time. Um, Definitely. So I like to think I, my friends describe me. One of the ways they describe me is funny. And so um, funny parenting that's a thing oh I don't, I don't know if I'm like a really funny parent but there's some new research that suggests parents who are funny have a much easier time getting their kids to listen oh I don't know if that's true for me but um are your parents funny I mean I, I don't I'm not I mean they're just a good time I know, I know, so right? I don't know. like Maybe I can't remember just, growing up I guess this is in like contrast to parents that are just not very approachable people. Hmm. So the study published in the journal PLOS One reveals more than 70% of participants agreed humor is an effective parenting tool. The research was led by a professor in pediatrics and humanities at Penn State and shows that parental humor could be a secret ingredient in children being able to better adjust to new situations or mental tasks, relieve stress, also promote creative problem solving. So you just got to be funny. I think in relationships too. I mean, the guys yeah. that you've dated, are they funny or? You know, I always think I'm the funniest. It's probably caused me some problems. <laughs> yeah, I could see that though. Funny parenting, like um, instead of being like always adulting, kind of like yes. have some fun, right? Yes. I mean, yes. I bet your kids get a kick out of it when I, you do something that they don't expect yeah. from you. Well, they know I do impressions, so I just do yes, impressions all there the you time. Go. Yes. And like, yeah. So, um, I had like a whole song, like my teacher's, my son's teacher, and I like was like, we're going to have a good time. Uh, you know, it was, I don't want to say the teacher's name, but anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess I my think... dad was funny. Like, 
because he would always play with us and he would get really into character. So that's funny. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I think when you look back at it, I think it's just so much better than parents just being like sticklers. Because totally. Because you can't really relate in a we way. We would like tell our parents everything too. And that's, that's great. Because they made it so that they were approachable and yes. open. So really, they knew far too much. Well, at least, well, at least my mom did. Well, was were her parents Still does. like that? Um, because I wonder if she well, tried you to... you know, that was when parents weren't as involved back mm -hmm. when my parents were mm -hmm. growing up. And I mean, I don't mean that in a bad way, but right. parents are much more involved now, I think. Mm -hmm. And when I was growing up, that was the case. Like, mm -hmm. you know, parents are just much more involved. Like now you see a lot of moms and dads going to practices and coaching yes. and like really being involved. But kudos to your parents because that's not always the case. Like my, um, my grandparents weren't that involved, right. but my like uncle is not that involved and my mm -hmm. aunt's not that involved in it. So they're like break, like yeah. your parents broke that. Kind yeah, of thing, I mean, my know? mom was always that. My dad was, he was always like working, but he would right. show up. And, yes, you know, to yes, things, and that's but, important. Yeah, I think now though, like in 2024, yes. I mean, it's Daniel is so involved with yes. your kids. Yes, it, and I that's think, just normal. Yeah, I think that that's like, you know, it's, it's crazy because I got this like request and I just got it approved, which is great. There's this um, Houston Moms to group and they are starting this series on like mom, pow, like power moms or something. Anyway, they wanted me to, to speak on it. Oh, and I nice. thought, to, and I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, because I don't look at myself like that. But I was trying to think about what I would say. And I think that one of the biggest things that allows me to do what I'm doing is having a support system. Mm -hmm. Part of that being Daniel yeah, and being totally. involved and all of that. So, so I think that's so helpful though, because mm -hmm. I think then you know, the parents are involved and like you're talking to your kids about what yes. you're doing. So I feel like, yeah. Yes, where I think it's important. I think that like my mom's parents worked a lot. You know, mm -hmm. my dad was just doing his own thing. Like yeah. he found golf when he was a kid cause like nobody was checking on kids yeah. then. Like it, yeah. they could just go and do whatever. Right, right. So I think it's totally different now in a good way, mm -hmm. I think. I think that the schooling system, the way it is, it, it's almost like you you have to be involved because there's so many things that the parents need to be involved with, like that they're yeah. required to like go to, or you know your child won't have a parent there, and it's oh, it's yeah, kind of like it's crazy. I feel bad for some of the kids because these events are like at 10 a.m. or oh something where you'd have to take off work. Well, and also like all the stuff that they need for school like Ridiculous. oh like yes. can you bring this and that yes. and we're having this drive and this yes. that yeah and the other and it's like I know <laughs> it's a lot it's yeah. a lot with all that yes like yes I was finding a half inch vanilla folder yesterday because they needed that for their on top of the school supply stuff exactly. that we already have it's it's like it's pretty nice. yeah so you kind of have to be all there. you do you do yeah just, just to make sure that your child has everything just the tools you know yeah that's a, so crazy at a younger age as they get older they're gonna like figure out those things out well, ryan but. looks super cute though in his first day of school little outfit i love the you khaki know, shorts little golf you. shirt yes yeah they have a dress code no no they don't have a dress code. well i love the outfit it's yes. so cute um i didn't adorable. put liana's i should have did I, I sent it to you though right yeah there. she yeah. looks yeah. so she always yeah. looks cute with her bow in her hair she yeah she wants to be a police officer because they get to eat donuts <laughs> Love it. I'm it sorry she didn't to help say people. princess. Like yeah, Disney princess. Well, she was like, that's not a job. Oh my gosh, I yeah. love it. All right, we'll be right back. Hi, friends. So I'm just going to be open and honest. I got this dress on Amazon and mm -hmm. I'm not feeling it. Like, no? it's just a little, I mean, you, you don't, I mean, it's just, it's just real. I have tried to steam this so many times and it's still like wrinkly. So that's why I'm just trying. Oh, I guess it yeah. doesn't look that bad on TV. No, it's it looks really fine. like any wrinkles. Yeah, it looks well, fine. it just, anyway, I uh, just wanted to bring that up. Okay. I want to ask you this before talking about this story. So if you could do like any crazy hair, what would you do? Like what color would you do it? Oh my gosh. I've always wanted to go red, red, like a super red, super red, like the yes. real color of red, like yeah. fire engine red. <gasps> I don't Wouldn't know that be that so would cool? Like. I mean, not like a natural red. Yeah, like a, like a red, 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 red. I just think it would be fun. I would love to have like a bob that's blonde. Ah. Like just a blonde bob. And there's a picture I'll show you. So the reason I'm talking about this is like hair transformations. Lady Gaga recently had yeah. one of hers and it really looks so different. So she showed off her bold new hairstyle while she was out to dinner in Los Angeles with her fiance. This was hours after debuting the new do online. Take Ooh. a look. She looks like more like, Itchy. yeah. And she, like I could, 
couldn't tell her like in a crowd. You know, I wonder if she has for a roll or something. So these are some other ones. Um, oh my god! That you you probably seen. That's Lisa Rinna. Right? Oh my god! Like, Is that's that a crazy. wig? Oh my gosh! I have no idea. Here's another one. Uh, Jessica Biel. I kind of like her with the longer hair. Yeah, too, for right? sure. Okay. Um, I added your girl too. Let's see if we bring oh, her. Oh, Kim. Up. Kim oh, always. Not her Kim, hair. but from that lineage. Um, so the one on the right with Kate Beckinsale, that's yeah. what I would like. <gasps> yeah, I mean, she, I mean, all these people look great either yes. way, but yeah, she looks great either way there. Yes. Well, um, I had put Kylie Jenner. I don't know if she's going to be in there. So anyway, for with Gaga, she rocked that brunette hair. It went past her shoulders and the singer who's 38 rounded out the darker do by wearing dark sunglasses, a short sleeve black top, black shorts, sheer black tights. You saw the picture there. Wouldn't it be fun to be able to change our hair? We really can't because of our job. They like us to be consistent. Yes. Like the picture you see right behind us, like that's different than what my hair is like now. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, and same. so is your hair, right? I'm or in my, I always get summer highlights and then tone it down for the winter. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's like that big of a deal, but I, mean, I, I guess, guess it, it can be if you're looking at like, you know, pictures of us from well, it's funny because my hair does the opposite. So normally like people's hair grows long and then you get it cut shorter. Yeah. Well, I get new hair extensions once a year. So what happens is my hair like gradually gets shorter, but then I'm going to go buy new extensions and then it's going to be down to here. Oh my gosh. So it's like the, I'll just show so up. So once a year. So what does that entail? Like just new hair. Like how long does it take to do? The same amount of time as like them just taking out the ones that I have and then putting oh. them in. Oh. Yeah. You just so what is your normal hair length? My normal hair length is probably like there. Oh, maybe. okay. So yeah. this just kind of adds a little. Oof. I think that's my regular hair. Yeah, this just adds, but I like it longer. Like yeah. when I got hired, it was super long. So mm -hmm. I'm going to get the new hair soon. But I feel like I need to warn our boss, like, hey, this is just the cycle of my hair. This is the cycle of Caroline's hair. I buy new extensions hair. once a year. They are about down to here gradually over the years. Is there a color? It's a wear get? and tear. Um, well, I'm going to tone this down for, like, the fall so it won't be as blonde. When you say tone it down, it's going to be? More brunette. Like, probably oh, more okay. like the picture that you see are we gonna look on the sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I always do every year. This has been a pattern. Like, I always get summer highlights. This is the cycle of yeah, Caroline's hair. Cycle that should be hair. a thing. I know. And I do feel like I need to, like, explain it to do. our boss because just. Well, I'd say, like, on TikTok. Like, you I know, should, the cycle yeah. of your hair. It is. So, anyway, it'll be really long. And then the year goes on and, like, the wear and tear on the extensions. So then it gets to about this length. And then summer highlights go in about May, uh -huh. and then the lower lights go in about September, October. So do you, what do you do with your old extensions? Just throw them away. Oh, okay. They're just all There's worn out. Like a, yeah, okay, got no, it, they're got all, they, like, about a year, people are shocked that I can get a year out of mine. Oh. Probably like nine months is more what I should do, but a year is fine. And how long have you had extensions for? Since 2015. So after college? During college. Oh, during college. Senior year, okay, so. okay. Gosh, oh my gosh, this is going on 10 years. <gasps> <laughs> Happy yeah, I've had your anniversary. I, I know. So they're just, it's like a weave. So there's like two rows and it just gets sewn in and there's like little beads, but you can't even feel them. Like that's fascinating. But this looks super natural and this is pretty like short for me. So once I get like my new hair, it'll be longer. It's like mermaid. I'm excited. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's gonna be so cool. I don't know. It's been nice to like not have as much hair, and it's really thinned out too. Cause you know mm -hmm. you brush and you do mm -hmm. the, do it, so it just gets thinner. Yes. But it actually the extensions like help with my actual hair health and everything. Like it's it's all good under there. So when not you under like, there, but, but <laughs> when you brush your hair and the hair comes out, like I've seen that video of like you and your sisters like brushes. Oh my gosh, yeah, I just took a big glob out. So like, is that your your real hair plus the extension hair? I would imagine, because don't you get hair out on your brush too? Like, yeah, but that's my, but I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, no, it would definitely like stronger. be stronger. Okay. No. Oh, okay, okay. It's def and then obviously the extension hair doesn't like grow back. That's right, like right, right. Buy new ones. Yeah, so, so you got to be very careful. Yeah, I mean, it's an investment for the year, but I like it. It's, you know. That's awesome. And I was hired here with really long hair. Mm -hmm. I was. Yeah, I remember your that. hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like glad that everyone liked it because yes. I, I do like really long hair you but. do you girl but you part of me wants it. to go to my stylist in like two weeks from now and just have her like chop this even with my hair and just like rock a little short length for a little yes. bit for like two weeks just you're short fun. yeah my <laughs> short yeah we'll see yeah it's fun though yeah and it is interesting like to look back at pictures mm -hmm. from 
you know, high school to yes. now and like just how your hair has changed. I used to clip in extensions, like the clip in oh, extensions. Oh, really? Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh my goodness. They would always like, stick out so bad. Wow. And then I had tape in extensions. You could always see the tapes. And oh these, my God. these are much better. Well, I had, I've, my hair has always been very thick. And so like actually. And people ask me, who does Rashi's extensions? I'm like, girl doesn't really? have any. <laughs> yeah. So I've never, like, this is foreign to me, all of, you yeah, know, the extension, yeah, yeah. whatever, because um, actually what isn't foreign is the fact that, like, my Indian friends have had long hair and they've donated their wow, hair for, yeah. um, you know, extensions Lots of love or whatever. Yeah, 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 something. Um, but what happened is I, I had, like, hair here and here. So I got it lasered off. Did you? Yeah, so that my hairline looked cleaner. Wow. A consultant one time told me about it. I know. Are you kidding And I was me? in my younger, like, starting off, and she was like, you have this, like, you know, these baby hairs, and they're frizzy here. Like, it, it, it never wow. used to be like this. Well, that's what Kim Kardashian did. She's Armenian. And oh, so yeah. she had her, because she used to, if you look at old uh -huh. pictures, have the same thing yes, that you're talking like about. Yes, like the little things. She got that, that yeah. all lasered yes. off. Yes. So I had, like, six treatments, I remember, and it hurt. It hurt. Yeah. And I was, like, the first question I asked was, like, is this going to, like, hurt my brain? <laughs> like, you know, like, like, I have a laser, laser going, like, like, no, the brain's yeah. deeper in the body than you oh, think. Oh, wow. But, yeah, the la laser, so I had laser, 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 so that's why it's, I wasn't born like this, folks. I had the little frizz. Yeah, we well, have the, just such thick hair, and it grows so fast, and that yes. also is a sign, you know, of being healthy and oh, taking care of yourself. Yes, To have you. naturally thick hair. Thank you. My hair, like, it doesn't look bad without the extensions. I just, it's not as thick as Rashi, so mm -hmm. I like to add the yeah. thickness Volume. in for TV. It makes it a lot easier for me to do on TV. Yeah. I don't know if I wasn't in this job, if I'd have extensions all the time. <laughs> I probably would, but <laughs> I love them. Your mom doesn't have extensions, right? No. Like she has like mm -hmm. very voluminous hair. Yes, my dad had like thick, thick, thick oh. hair back in the day actually. Oh. But I don't know, my hair is pretty like normal. It's not thin, but it's not super thick, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. It's fine. Normal. Yeah, yeah, but it's not thick like yours. Yeah, yeah. Yours is special. Yep. <laughs> Thank you guys. I love Thank it, you. I love Thank it. You. Okay, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. All right, so I thought that because your kids went back to school, this mm -hmm. would be a good little yes. story to talk about here. So obviously we all get hangry sometimes. I'm getting there about right this moment. As I was going to say that too. Yeah. I'm going to have my... I'm going to have my... I call it like a snack. This, it's basically I'm going to do the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. After yep. the show. So okay. anyway, yeah. we get really irritable because obviously we get hungry. Yeah. So a new survey finds that after school, hangriness for kids peaks at... 3.36 p.m., which is so funny because for us right now it's 3.52 p.m. and we're getting hungry. Oh, yes! And the poll conducted by Talker Research found that the children come home from school feeling hangry about three days a week on average, and it found that hangriness is one of the biggest things that can derail a typical school day, trailing only lack of sleep and running late. Okay, I like don't have kids in school right now, but I remember, and I think, you know, based off what you tell me, like lunch is served so early mm -hmm. sometimes. So like you get to school, like you eat breakfast before you go to school and then you have a snack time and then you have lunch and then nothing until you get home. Why yes. is snack time in the morning? Like I'm, I feel like there I needs know. to be an extra snack time after lunch. Yes, and um, I it's, the lunch is like so like 10, 10 30 or something or it's like, so and early it's like, and then they don't so, get yeah. what time does he get off of school typically Three. okay that's a yeah, long time i so know when did they do snack time uh well he's in second grade now and they don't do snack time that's <gasps> what he said really yes. so it was oh, like that's wow. it and so you know you better eat your lunch that's why i get upset with him if he doesn't eat his lunch so do you think he'll come home from school pretty hungry yeah so like yesterday i picked him up and i always bring a snack and like juice or something and, and I'm, does he eat it like, yeah. he like oh mm -hmm. yeah give yeah, it to yeah yeah I remember we'll the whole thing. getting off school and being like super hungry mm -hmm. because if you have that like I think we had like an 11 20 lunch time yeah well <laughs> it depends on the grade and then also if you're in athletics which you know that's for those kids that's different because remember we would just go dr straight to practice after school yeah but also who makes lunch at like 10 something in the morning like this is what I'm so confused about because yeah. my lunch is happening like right now I mean mm -hmm. of course School We're different. starts a yeah, lot earlier, yeah. but it's, I don't know, I just think it's weird. I think also they have to fit everybody else's lunch in. They in the do, and it spot. all has yeah. to go, and there's only one cafeteria, yeah. but I'm like, I can see why kids come home hungry. Yes. Because that's yeah. a long time in between lunches. I remember in high school, like, it was a big deal, like, there was first lunch and then second lunch. I think. Yes. 
I always think upperclassmen had first lunch and then lower class oh, had man. late lunch. So we like I don't I can't really remember. Yeah. But there that made a big difference because you were either like starving by the noon whatever mm -hmm. lunch time, but like I don't know. Yeah. I can't remember. No, but I, I remember that being a big thing. Yes, I totally agree. I think it's I mean, obviously when you're hungry that's like your body telling you it's i mean it is too late because you should be fueling yeah. your body like throughout the day and stuff but it's just hard sometimes yeah, for children totally. and adults totally and i also remember like i had a huge appetite i was very tall and super active mm -hmm. because of dance and all the activities and i just like always it would get to the afternoon and i just like wanted a snack so bad i remember getting in trouble one time because i like ate a granola bar like out of my locker and the teacher's like you're not allowed to have food in the lot i'm like oh. what difference does it make yeah so hungry oh well eat up whenever you can exactly. because being hangry is the worst it's the worst yes. do they do breakfast at the school now or they always yeah but yeah. i mean we don't we will just do it at home so that yeah. you know is it but. optional or do you have to like opt into it or how does it work? I don't know I haven't looked into it but I just remember in high school that's like we would just go to school early I mean if we wanted I remember lunch. just like eating a granola bar and some coffee in the car in high school oh you had coffee yeah in school yeah yeah I did because my mom drank it so then of course I would have like my styrofoam cup of coffee because like yetis weren't like a thing yet oh if it was little Caroline she best be having her Stanley when kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, right? Now yeah. I would, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I would um, eat like a granola, probably like a granola bar. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do cereal and yeah. eggs or something. Yeah. I never liked eggs until college, so I probably ate cereal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, well, now I'm hungry, so I thanks know. so much, guys, for hanging out with us. Yes, today. we'll see you next time. Bye, friends. <laughs>